I know you're gonna dig this. I don't understand what's going on here. All right, this is what happened, but you weren't here, so you missed it. It's Happy Friday time. You know what that means. Do you know what that means? Friday walkies. And it's almost the weekend. Yes, I have my phone. Ugh. All right, <laughs> let's go. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Just keep those doggies rolling. <laughs> rawhide. They're rawhide powered. They're working it today. It's kind of hot today. I mean, the temperature is not hot, but the sun's making it hot. The sun's really strong. Go, puppy, go. Go, puppy, go. A little yeah. Nope. Nope. Ugh. All right. So I found a couple of uh, funny items that I discovered while I was cleaning up, <laughs> going through some stuff. Ah, <clears throat> oh, the dust is getting to me. So I was like, "Wow, what's this?" I had no idea what it was. It looks like dog tags, and apparently it is. <laughs> it's for GI Joe. So, the G.I. Joe that you see in the uh, Big Brother puppet show, this is his dog tags. They will be returned to him. So, these are Caleb's dog tags. <laughs> Weird. Alright, I found the little notepad. Actually, it only had, uh, it's brand new. It only had one page written in. Hey, rip that page out, you got a new notepad. Yeah, obviously it's Madeline's. Which I'm surprised that she wrote Madeline because she absolutely hates the name Madeline. I don't hate the name Madeline. I just don't feel like she prefers that. Maddie because that is what she pictures herself as a Maddie, not a Madeline. Well, who's a Madeline? An old person. Nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know how. Yeah, alright, the camera's picking this up. My boy frides. <laughs> It's so funny. You're such a scrupulous speller now. Such a thorough gra grammatist. And she was a horrible speller when she was a kid. Maybe that's well, what... Well, aren't all kids? And that's not true. I was like freaking really young when I wrote that. Two years old? <laughs> My boyfriends. Kyle, he gets a heart. Tommy and William. I don't know who William was. I remember the first two. Oh, really? I don't know. Well, was. I remember you went out with Kyle for a, a while. And went out. We were in like fifth grade. I know. Well, whatever going out back then means. And I remember one Valentine's Day, he showed up and rang the bell. Bing, bing. <laughs> and he came with a little shopping bag full of nail polish. And what else was in there? Candy. What grade was that? That had to be like sixth grade, wasn't it? Fourth grade? Fifth grade! I just said that! It was fifth grade. So yeah, I'm gonna rip that page out and save that book. <laughs> and little Playa over here. She actually had a real pager, so it's funny that she has this uh, toy one as well. Ms. Kitty. <laughs> And I had to look at it a few times because it actually looks like a real pager. It has batteries in it and it has the buttons on the front like a real pager. But, you know, no number is here. This is a fake screen. But the real giveaway is Univicel Paging manufactured by Master... What does that say? I'm trying to pick it up on the camera. So I could read it through the camera. I don't have my glasses. Oh, jeez. Masterola. Masterola, right? Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Playa! Time to catch Lucia in her natural habitat. Lucy jumped up on the couch and buried herself under the covers all by herself. <laughs> what are you doing, crazy girl? Lucy, you're a freaking nut. She almost fell off the couch. I was like, no! And then she like jumped up and then she was like under the covers completely. There's like three blankets there. Three or four blankets. 
Are you warm now? Huh? I was sleeping in the hot room. Oh, you are precious. Yes. Precious, based on the novel Push by Sapphire. Did you happen to see the most wonderful husband in the world? Is it? Hi, welcome home. Hi there. It's the, officially the best time of the day slash week. I'm so glad you're home. I see you're dressed in your pool attire. Mm -hmm. <sighs> ah, veggies. Looks so good. No, I'm about to jump in the shower. I uh, got a surprise today. Oh? We should know. You called me. Oh. And I... Uh, Kristen's like, is your phone ringing? Uh, yeah, I thought it was 3 o'clock. It was actually 6 o'clock. The day got away from me because I was busy doing cleaning and organizing. And this is going to be a long-term project, getting this house mm -hmm. to where it should be. Well, it took years to get to where it is now. Yeah, so that's our long-term goal, to get this house in order and I've made a commitment to do it, and I'm going to do it. Over here. Yeah. So, <laughs> why did you make a fist? Right, yeah, you did. Do I have to play it back oh, for you? Yeah. Alright, whatever. But anyway, that's, that's a good thing. And uh, I'm going to take a shower now because I feel disgusting. I'm highly allergic to dust, and right now I want to rip my nose off because I can feel dust in my nose. And that's gonna, if I wasn't on a super duper decongestant right now, I would be out on the floor, like cast out, because that's how allergic I am to dust. That's why, that's part of the reason why it's gotten into this state, hmm. because of uh, my allergy. Right. So, I'm gonna get in the shower. I wonder if that includes the uh, dip. What? Well, this whole thing has um, 800 calories. Um, Probably not. No, I don't. I don't know. Eat. I don't maybe know. it then does. It has to dip here. Yeah, yeah. I think that. Fat, buttermilk. Okay. Yeah, because all those carrots are probably like a hundred freaking calories. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Maybe not even that much. She wants. <laughs> all right, I'm not filming that. <laughs> I'm getting in the shower. All right, it's that time of the day again. It's time to cook dinner. So tonight we're having something a little bit different. We're having some al fresco tomato sauce with gluten-free pasta, some string beans that are, well, some haricot verts that are um, boiling over here. Those are almost ready. I'm gonna take them out in a minute. And I have about seven or eight cloves of garlic in the chopper there with some uh, pesto. <sighs> I hope this is going to be good. It sounds so good in my brain because I saw the string beans uh, online with the tomato, with the cherry tomatoes sautéed and with the garlic and basil and everything, and I thought that would go really good with some pasta. So. Sean is dying for pasta, right? Yes. You just can't wait to have that pasta. So I gotta start this um, sauteing so that everything ends up at the same time. Oh baby, that sounds fantastic. I love that sound of the sizzle. Perfect. So I'm gonna get that started. Uh, these are gonna be out in two seconds. I don't wanna make them too cooked, but I don't want them too crispy because then it Crispy is just not going to go good with the pasta. Ooh, I had a brilliant idea. I might even throw in some pignoli nuts for some added creamy flavor and some added protein. Alright, here we go. It's dinner time. And here's how the pasta turned out. Pretty amazing looking. What's the first thing you smell when you walk up to the pot? Garlic. Garlic. Oh, how I love you. How I love you. My dear old garlic. <laughs> I freaking love garlic. It's the best. Don't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could do some cheese on there because there's no um, protein. There's a little pignoli nuts in there, but... 
Yeah, you like that? I'm glad. Because I was dreaming about those string beans all week. I had seen the string beans at the beginning of the week and I was like, ooh, I want to make those so bad. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Put a little cheese on. I will. Excellent. All right, it's smoothie time. Maddie's, Maddie's like, what is going on here? I'm a little nervous here because I came in expecting a monkey's uncle and we're getting Monkey's number two. What? <laughs> Monkey's Monkey nephew. Monkey number two. Frozen blueberries, room temperature banana, PB2. And a nice splash of unsweetened almond <gasps> milk. <laughs> that was almost bad. Why, what? You almost dumped it. I did? Yeah. So we just watched the best exotic marigold hotel. It was really good. I enjoyed it. Slumdog was in it. It makes me want to travel. I know, and it was an all-star British cast. Yes. Loved everyone in there. And they're making another one. Yeah. It's exciting. Excellent. I think it's coming out like it's next year. Exciting. You did notice that I pulled out Big Daddy for this one. <gasps> what do we call this again? <gasps> <laughs> what did we call it? You said monkey number two or something. Monkey number two, that's it. Oh, big daddy, don't disappoint. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Don't worry, it'll be okay. <laughs> See what we got in here. It looks like there's little bugs in there. Yeah. <laughs> What's your point? It's scary. New things are scary. Yes. But delicious. Bless you. Kristen's uh, joining us tonight. She's joining in. She's asleep. No, somebody should wake her up. Oh, that was dangerous. Bless, Bless you. you. Excuse me. <laughs> Is everyone having problems tonight? No, I'm good. My sinuses are so bad. I'm doing a project where I'm going to eat more apples. Yeah. <laughs> it's a project. <laughs> Ooh. Monkey squared. Now, monkey number two. Gosh, get it right. What is wrong with me? <gasps> no! <laughs> oh. I don't care, I'll use it. Ew, Whoa. it's dirty. Just wipe it off. Which one is which? Take whatever you desire. Oh, was that you? Yeah. <laughs> you said we are doing the s'more? Yeah. Good, right? Let's see. Let's see. What, what is Kristen going to... Chris! Smoothie time. All right, let's deliver this one to Mark and see what he thinks. Honey, it's monkey number two. It means it's twice as delicious. What do you think? All right, enjoy. I hope you enjoy. Whoa. Let's see, Kristen just woke out of a dead sleep to, to indulge in a smoothie. Is that yours? Oh no, you're holding yours. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna rack up some s'mores here as well, right? In a couple of minutes, making s'mores. Yeah. Hey, blast from the past time, sir. Let's start with yours. <laughs> this is Mark's 
uh, college ID from Queens College. Look at you. <laughs> it's a lot of freaking hair. You're freaking Sean Cassidy. That's why I married you. Yeah, now my hair is gone. I married Sean Cassidy. Hello. Mm. Hardy boys. <laughs> it's so crazy. Am I right? That is Sean Cassidy, but who the hell did you marry? This was my St. Francis Prep uh, high school ID from, let's see, 81. This was probably junior year. What the hell? I have a hair freaking mane. You could tell it was the 80s. That was some big hair. And then, just two short years, three short years later, there's my college ID from Pratt Institute in Brooklyn and with my uh, grown-in mohawk that is not pulled back on the sides that's shaved remember wow, that aren't you edgy yeah. totally totally edgy baby I was already a missus there did you compete in a missus pageant I didn't but I really <laughs> I'm glad that I didn't because <laughs> those ladies are cray love it Game of Crowns, leave it in the comments if you're watching it, and if you're not, you, you definitely should be. should be, because that is the show of the summer. Alright, not as big as Big Brother, but guilty pleasure show, for sure. I wish they would have brought back the crew from the other show. That was a different channel. I know, but what was the name of that show? Uh, I don't remember. Pageant something. It was a special. Yeah. Oh my god. Jocelyn, get in contact with me. I love you. <laughs> we need to talk. We're both not our menopause. Oh, this looks amazing. Thanks for making s'mores. And... Until next time. Edit. <laughs>